I just made some breakfast. It's the same old, some soup, some avocado, boiled egg, and I fried some pork as well. Hi guys, what is up? It's been a while since I vlogged, so I was like, let me pick up my vlogging camera. And with vlogging camera, I mean my iPhone. And uh, vlog a little bit today. And even though today is Sunday, I do have to get some things done for work because I called in sick a few days last week and when you call in sick it doesn't necessarily mean that someone else will take over your work generally it means that you just have a lot more stuff to do when you get back so i figured let me get a head start and let me just like try to finalize a few things today on sunday and that way i can start tomorrow on monday quite fresh and as you just saw i made some breakfast so that is right here waiting to be devoured and with that i also made some soup and and this is just a mixture of a beef flavored a cup of soup with some bone broth and some hot water and yeah it's kind of nice to have something warm in the morning especially since it's been quite cold lately so yes i'm going to eat first and then i will catch up with you guys very soon I am going to give the cat food and the landlady told me like what to give the cat so I have to give the cat this I have to put this with some water and this half a bag so I'm just gonna do that quickly all right I finished the cat is very impatient all right come 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 done. All right, the cat is fed, I'm fed, and right now I'm going to work on a management letter for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to head out, and I'm about to eat an ice cream in the meantime as well. It's way too early to be eating ice cream, but I saw it in the freezer, and I was like, hmm, that's not a bad idea. So anyway, I'm just gonna get started with work, and I'll take you along. All right, um, I'm at the gym, I'm gonna get a workout in. I went yesterday after a long time again to the gym and it was so good and I forgot how good I feel when I go to the gym so I'm definitely gonna try to go more often and yeah I have five minutes before my reservation expires so I'm going to hurry up and get to the gym. Gym workout is done and now I'm in the grocery store. I just got some avocados and now I'm going to look for some flavored water. So I'm back home. I got some flavored water as I told you in the grocery store. This has literally been my latest obsession. It's flavored watermelon water and it's sparkling and it's really nice. I like it. I also got a big one that is apple flavored. I haven't tried this one out yet, but I was like, I keep buying these small bottles. I might as well just get a big one, but they don't have this one in a bigger size. And um, I also got some avocados because I tend to eat one or two avocados a day. And these are quite pricey. It's like three euros for this, for four avocados. So it's quite pricey. So I make sure that I eat them, especially since they're already ripe. But anyway, I just got back home. I'm going to finish with the management letter input because I didn't finish it when I left. And in between, I also got an email for that exact client from the core assurance team asking me to work on some other things. So I will do that right away as well. 
and then I will continue with the five other clients where I have stuff to do for as well. It's going to be a very long Sunday but I'm going to really try to get as much done as possible because I think that way I can just start tomorrow fresh. So I'm going to go inside, take a shower and continue working. I'm all showered, I'm going to have a baby bell, cheese cube and get or continue with the management letter and then also with some other stuff for this client. So that's what I'm up to right now. And so in the management letter, I just have to describe like generic, like basic items that were findings and that management should pay attention to. And in, in, and, and in addition to that, I also describe like how we like proceed with our work and what we do exactly and what we pay attention to when we evaluate our evidence. So it's kind of a summary of the outcome of the audit from an IT perspective. So that is what I'm doing and I'm doing it in PowerPoint because I think that's what the engagement team wants us to do, like the core assurance team, because they already inserted their input in a PowerPoint presentation. And so I will adjust that and add our slides to it. And that way we can finalize the management letter input. And once I'm done with adjusting the slides, I will let the senior manager know that she can review it. And then she will like let the core assurance team know when it's done. So that's what I'm up to right now. But first I'm going to eat my baby bell cheese cube and watch some YouTube and then I'll get started. Um, all right, all right, all right. I'm back. I finished the management letter. I sent the senior manager an email, but when I work on the weekends, I always schedule the send. So it will be sent tomorrow morning at eight. If you ever receive an email from me, like at 7 a.m. or at 8 a.m. on the dot, it was never sent at that time so i'm in the portal where, where clients can upload documents and i'm just looking at what we received and so far it looks like about 95 percent has been submitted so that's good so i will make an export of all the stuff we received and send the client an email with stuff that is still outstanding so that they can also deliver it in a timely manner because if they don't deliver it in the next two weeks then i don't have that much time to work on it if it arrives later because after those two weeks where i'm planned for the client i after that i'm planned for another client so uh, that's why it's important that clients deliver stuff i'm not mad <laughs> but that's why it's important to the for clients to deliver stuff on time because otherwise they're just gonna like make us work overtime and that is not something we want so anyway i'm just gonna make an export of this and send it to the client so that they know what's up and they can also work on the outstanding items. All right, so I managed to send an email while well, schedule an email sent for tomorrow morning at eight with the outstanding items for this client. So hopefully we get all the requested items by, well, in the next two weeks. And so that's two clients down, four to go. And I think I'm going to work on this client first because this is kind of easy. I'm trying to get the easy things out of the way before I'm starting with the tedious things that take forever. And then I only like get one thing done off of my whole list. So I'm going to work on an easy client and then let's see. After that, it's just like, it's just messy. <laughs> oh man, um, man. Oh, I have to send another email to the associate. Um, 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 all right. All right, so check, check, check. Um, I'm gonna do an easy client and then I'm gonna start with the three clients that take the most work because it's a bunch of work papers that need to be done for each one of them. So I'm just gonna quickly whip this up together and yeah, I'll show you the end result very soon. All right, change of plans. I just saw that the eggs that I have, they expire on the 9th, which is tomorrow. And I have five eggs left. So I think I'm just going to fry three and make a salad to go with it. And also add, add like the avocado, the cucumber, the boiled egg. Oh man, that's going to be four eggs. That's that's a lot of eggs. That's, that's my cholesterol. Anyway, I'm just going to get cooking and I will show you the final product very soon. This is the best I could do. Ta-da! I ended up frying two eggs because four eggs would have been way too much. It looks edible, so I'm about to eat. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Caitlin, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about common intermittent fasting mistakes. Yes, there are mistakes that you can make while you're intermittent fasting, and I don't want to see you guys make any of these mistakes. 
just like that i'm done right now i'm done with the third client so i have three more clients to go but i'm gonna take a break now i'm just gonna watch some youtube and chill and relax right now it is five o'clock so i still have some time but um i will likely not be able to finish all of it but i will try to get as far ahead as possible so today is monday and right now it is 5 34. i woke up at 4 this morning and when i say I wake up at 4 it, it probably means that i went to bed at 8 or 9 because i've been saying that quite a bit in my vlogs lately and it's not because i put my alarm it's because i go to bed like quite early i send out a few emails that are scheduled to be sent at 8 this morning otherwise people will be like what the heck are you doing up so early but before i'm like gonna start working on all of this i'm gonna quickly record a plan with me video in my weekly planner so i got this a few weeks ago and so it's just like an empty planner that i can fill in so i'm just gonna fill it in for the week and record it while i'm at it and upload that and then i'm going to continue with one of the clients where i want to make progress and if i finish that i will have done four out of the six clients that i have stuff to do for or had stuff to do for which is good progress i mean we're not all the way there yet but it's really good progress i'm back i'm back i look a little bit more alive i guess but i'm back i just made breakfast i have a feeling some people are gonna comment on my cholesterol level after seeing how many eggs i ate <laughs> thus far but anyway all those things aside the first meeting that i had planned at 8 30 already got like rescheduled to a later time today so i have to reschedule that meeting and then i'm gonna just work on some work papers until the next meeting which is at 9 30. so yeah that's my plan and i also responded to an instagram message that i got which was super sweet i generally got like really sweet messages from you guys so thank you so much for that but yes i'm gonna work on some work papers and then reschedule the call that i had scheduled for 8 30 this morning and also eat of course while it's still warm it is much further i ended up calling the manager which was a good conversation and i'm thankful i did it because i missed out on the component team meeting last week so i just got an update on that as well and then my favorite client called and we ended up speaking for 20 minutes he just loves to talk about everything that is unrelated to the audit so we spoke for about one minute about audit related things such as documentation that is still outstanding and the other 19 minutes he was telling me how i could be in curacao right now and how they're not delivering anything timely anyway so yeah it's just one of those clients where they love to talk and sometimes you have to to give client that space to talk but yeah i don't know what i'm going to write those 19 minutes on i am walking to the grocery store i finished everything that i wanted to finish yesterday i figured i will vlog a little bit today because otherwise i would just have been sitting inside today is friday by the way i know you blinked your eyes and we went from monday all the way through friday but i am heading to but I'm heading to Breda because I am going to my coach who is a senior manager to have a coaching session like life in person so for the past few months we've pretty much had phone calls we did video calls and things of that nature but we figured since we can meet with one other person we can just meet in person and so that's why I'm heading to Breda right now and this past week has just been equally as hectic as all other weeks and so I did not even bother to vlog as much as I would have liked to but I will start mentioning a few positive things that have happened this week because a lot of positive things have happened and it's also going to take an hour to get to Breda. So one thing that happened this past week that was really cool was that I had an associate that I was working with on a client that was from Curacao. So we were speaking Papiamen to Dutch, English and all different languages combined. And it was just really cool to have someone from my home country to work with. And generally I work with people from all over the world and it was a unique opportunity to work together with someone from my home country another really cool thing that happened this week is that i got to facilitate a group session and that was yesterday during the team meeting that we have and yeah it was just really cool because i generally don't speak up that much and it was just really nice to be able to lead the session and to also summarize all the input that all the participants gave and to also have a say in the group meeting because i never i never talk <laughs> 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. This, this, this one is a big one. So we've had a client that has been dragging on and on and on and on. And this week we finally finalized the interim. And so I am just so happy that that is finalized, that is settled. The client agrees with everything. I'm just so glad that that is over. And it's funny because now we're already starting with update testing. So it's like, yeah, you're done, but you still have to do update testing. But nonetheless, it's so awesome to finalize a client and to, you know, have one thing checked off of your list that you don't have to worry about anymore. The next thing that happened that was really cool is that I finished my first management letter input. So that is really cool because I got to summarize all the findings. I got to like give recommendations and also like put that in the management letter and that will be presented to the client and I have to present that on Monday to the client. So it was just really cool that I got to contribute to that. The last thing that I can think of is that one of the associates that I worked with uh, gave me really nice feedback because we get both as a because we get both feedback from our superiors, so senior managers, managers, etc. But we also get feedback from the people that are associates and interns. So I worked with one associate and I requested feedback from him and he just gave really nice feedback. So that was really cool as well. I'm almost there guys, almost there. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming before y'all figure out where my coach lives. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm here. Wish me luck. I'm about to head into this coaching session. And yeah, I'll see you guys afterwards. It's so dark. It's so freaking dark. But I made it to the gym. And this is the last good thing that happened this week because I went to the gym three times so far this week. And I can make it four times it's like if I go tomorrow as well. So that's the last thing. We walked for about an hour at my coach's place because there's like a lot of like bushes around and stuff so and there's a golf course so we walked around there and we just chit chatted for about an hour about everything so yeah afterwards i drove back home i got ready for the gym and now we're here so i'm gonna end the vlog now so thank you so much for watching have a beautiful day wherever you are and see you next time bye I forgot to say one thing and that is that my coach asked how YouTube is going and I was like I have 3,000 subscribers now but it would really help if the 90% of the people that watch and aren't subscribed would subscribe so please subscribe and also like this video if you like the content. Alright that's all thank you bye!